So Zhao, we're here to look at some of your iconic moments with Royal Caribbean. When you signed for Wolves, it was your first season in the Premier League. Is it always a league you wanted to play in? Yeah, it's one of, for me, the, the best leagues in the world. And uh, I have a few opportunities to come, it doesn't happen. And Wolves giving that opportunity and I take it. And it's one of my best decisions to come here because if I don't uh, try this, uh, this champion, Championship, uh, I gonna regret for all my life, and uh, I'm grateful to to Wolves to give me that opportunity. The game we're gonna look at first is Manchester United, Old Trafford. You played there before with Sporting? Yes, one time. We lose two or three one, I think. Yeah. So this one was a better occasion. Yeah. Let's have a look. So there's a real good feel at the football club at this point, wasn't it? Off the back of winning the championship, the fans, the management. Wolves are heading in a good direction. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. The first season, I think we do it uh, amazing job. So Helder Costa here is someone I played with when I was at Wolves. He was, I think, the best player I got to play with in a Wolf shirt. He was very good, wasn't he? Very good. And 1v1, you never know where he goes. That's why it's so difficult to, to play against him. You wouldn't want to get in the way of big willy bolly coming at you, would you? Sometimes it's very easy, just put the ball in the, in the box and Willy's there. <laughs> oh, lovely touch. Yeah. On his weaker foot as well, Fred. Maybe a bit unexpected that he's going to take it so quickly. Yeah, maybe maybe he's going to control, but he shot straight away. That's it's lovely from Pogba though, isn't it? Yeah, the first touch, yeah. If you go 1 0 down at Old Trafford, most teams then tend to crumble and go out the game, but this Wolves team was a little bit different, wasn't it? But I think we have a very strong uh, group. Uh, we give all until the end. You see here the pressure we, we do all the, with all the team. That's the, the play, comes the, the goal. Left foot. Left foot. I just tried to put the ball on the on the goal. <laughs> Is this one of your best goals? Yeah, maybe one off. And my first season in Wolves to, to my first goal in with the shirt uh, with the shirt of Wolves is of course it's memorable. I tried to put the ball uh, where where the head can can catch and it's a amazing team play and it's a great finish. So back in the game up, but 1-1 one, one, Zhao, but look at the team, trying to get on the ball. Helder, a player when he's on fire, he's got that confidence, trying to make things happen again. Yeah, we can, can try to keep the ball and 1-1 uh, in Old Trafford, we can say it's a good result, but we are a team with a very good spirit to... Um, one point is one point, but if we can have the three points, we go forward. Yeah, Nuno was very good at that in terms of having a shape to be able to defend from, but you can spring attacks quickly and have players in the right positions to hurt the opposition. And the right moments to, to, to do it, yeah. That's, I think we improve a lot in the season with that. If you see, we have most of the players in their half. We have a, a group who, who knows what they need to do every single moment of the game. I looked and you've played 324 times with Rui, the most out of any other teammate, by over 100. Yeah, so play again you know with well. him in sporting, yeah. yeah. Sporting, and national team, uh, very good guy. Sometimes people say strange because it's so quiet, but yeah, I know him very well. Matt looks tired. Oh, nice. See, that's my nightmare. I'm a tall midfielder. And to play with someone who's technical like you <laughs> is a nightmare because I know you can do that by the way you manipulate the ball. Yeah, but I do it. I do it because I have a purpose, like to pass, like to go, to go forward. Or your last uh, chance or last 
opportunity to do something to go out of the, that situation. That's, that's why this happened. Adama, late in games, it was brilliant. If you give you a little bit of space to run, and it's, it's unbelievable. The strength of the speed. Uh... But as a defender, this is a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. If you're 1v1 yeah. and he's got you stood up, knowing that he can really go both ways as well. 1v1, right. it's wow. very difficult. You need to be a cover. If not, you can't stop, you can't stop him. We had a really good relationship with Raul, didn't we, in this yeah, season yeah. in particular? No, we, we have well Adam, uh, Adam Raul, Jota Raul. Yeah. It's kind of connections, uh, me and Ruben. I think the connection we, we have like a group, not only inside of the pitch, that makes the, the difference on this season. There's a lot of successful Portuguese managers who come to the Premier League. Is it something that you would want to do one day? Maybe, maybe one day. I, I like to help and uh, I think I understand the game. This don't say we're going to be a good or bad manager. Uh, we understand the game, yes, but after it's a lot of things to be manager. But I never know. We never know. Uh, I'm going to take the, my uh, graduations yeah. badges. and after badges and after. Yeah. We see. So this is the FA Cup quarter final. Huge game Saturday night, which always means a good atmosphere. How did you find Wolverhampton in general? It's a big change from Monaco to Wolverhampton. Yeah, it's a big change. Um, Monaco, you have a good life, you have a, a good club too, but the, the supporters, the stadium, they are not full uh, every single game. Yeah. Here, what we can see, and this one is for me is the best the best game we have with our, our supporters, they are unbelievable. And they play such a huge part, don't they? From a player's point of view, they yeah, play such a yeah. big part when it's like this. For me, they are, like, like we, we say in, in Portugal, is a, the, um, the 12th player. Yeah. And uh, they help us a lot in this game, in the other games too, but in this, this game, it's unbelievable. In a game like this, you show yourself there being calm. Are you the one who's just trying to settle everything with your experience? That's what I, I like to do. It's to to have a opportunity to have the ball and to to dictate the the rhythm of the game. That's the kind of player I, I am. I like to have the ball, to control the game, to control the rhythms, and and do the the team play with the ball, without the ball. What are your thoughts on sort of the evolution of Ruben Neves since he's come to war? Have you, have you seen a big development in him? Yeah, I know him from Porto and um, he show already it's one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. He runs uh, all 19 minutes to help the team. And of course, if you have, you have the opportunity to, to, to score, you're going you're gonna to try it because he, he have this, that speciality it's to, to shot on a goal and, and score. Uh, uh, a lot of goals. Great save. Great save. So he dominated the game up until this point. It's a fabulous All save. game, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. I play with him too. I'm married in Monaco. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I try to. Yeah, so you're getting fed up now as well. You're trying the shots from distance, trying to get one over on your old mate. It's a good position to, show, to shot yeah. and I try my, my luck. I need to do more, more times, but it's a great I mean, the, cra the crowd do know, so when and you, help, you and, and Ruben help. are on the, on the pitch and the technical ability you have, that they want to see those one yeah. goals.
is a wonderful finish, isn't it? How, how sharp. He Raul tried to turns. assist. He tried to assist. We have a, yeah. a little bit of luck, but no one expected his, his shot straight away. Yeah. That's what uh, what will do it. It's good skill from you in the build-up as well, because once you go past one or two or three players, then all of a sudden there's an opportunity because players are out of the game, aren't they? I see the man behind me, Slinga, and I, I. You haven't got a lot of options to be honest, either. No, that's that's why uh, when I don't have. Too many options, I try to, to do a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe I need to try it more, but I, I try to be as simple as possible because I know I'm good in the pass. Yeah. And I think it's important sometimes the, the most simple pass for me is the most important. Yeah. Because sometimes we need to, we want to put the ball in 30 meters and we can give a small pass, five, 10 meters and it's better than, than the other one. And then after that goal, obviously the atmosphere in Molyneux is electric, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. And then at this moment here, you can just sense. And see, see, Ruben press and one touch. And... This is where Jot is so good. Yeah. He's so good at running with the ball, isn't he? No, not tricks or anything like that, but just using his body, I love it. rocking his shoulders. I love it. He doesn't want to look to see if anyone else is with him. He's just, I'm going to go. He don't need tricks. No. One objective, it's score. Then look at that celebration. Unbelievable. You look at some of the faces in, in the fans and they can't believe what's happening. They're beating Manchester United 2-0 in the quarterfinals in FA Cup. And they love you, they've got the songs for you. Yeah, I think the crowd it's, are amazing. When, when we are losing two, they are very important for us. And you know, you know how, the, how special they are. Yeah. Uh, and this is red card. Yeah, I was going to ask you about You give red card, but after you give, it. it changes, it's unbelievable. Frustration from Manchester United. They Tell haven't me. competed all game, have they? 2-0 down. How he can go to the VAR and change. Yeah, he's completely cleaned out Jota. So this is very late on in the game, isn't it? So 2-0 yeah. up, the game is already won. And then this is, the fans talk about it now, this is their best ever night at Molyneux, the best ever match at Molyneux for atmosphere. And you think I, the I same think as well? Yeah, I think the same. Like I said, it's, the atmosphere on that night, it's unbelievable. And they had a real affinity with Nuno, didn't they? The yeah, fans, yeah, Especially yeah, at this yeah. point. Yeah, harmony. You can say harmony yeah, with yeah. the players and, and crowd and supporters. And this, this is important too. And Nuno have, have that a lot. So your second season at Wolves, a European adventure. You'd have hoped that one day you'd play European football. Were you surprised it happened so quickly? It's not a surprise because I saw what team we have, uh, the spirit. Uh, of course, when I come, if you tell me next season you are in the, in the UEFA Cup, I think maybe it's not realistic because I, I talk with a few friends who play in the, the Premier League and they say, hey, it's very difficult, the league. But after a few games, when I talk with them again, I tell them, hey, it's very difficult, but we have a, a great team, a great spirit. Your experience, in particular, European football, would have been key for this Wolves team, where very little amount of the players would have played I at this it, stage before. Yeah, I think it's important, of course. We have players to already play Champions League or UEFA Cup. Of course, it's, it's important that, that kind of experience and we try to transmit for the other players to be calm. Uh, we have two, two games, but every single game it's like a final and yeah. we need to go with everything. And that's what we, what we do. We do a great job. You had a lot of set pieces you took in this game with those bright yellow boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a big chance for yeah. Leander. Leander, yeah. He's good in the air, wasn't he? A guy you, you trust in the def defending, attacking, he, he helped us a lot in this in this season. Another set piece. Are you thinking just try and get it on target at this point or are you just going to hang it up for the players? Yeah. 
normally when I, I, I do the corners or free kicks, I don't try to put in one player. I try to, to put in one spot who knows the players need to go there. Yeah. We, we attack the ball very well and Saiz attracts the ball. Yeah. And this kind yes, of thing, does, Saiz yeah. is amazing. When we play a few games in the, in the training, he goes to like a striker and he, <laughs> he scores, <laughs> scores all, all the time. Adama, 1v1. That's pretty. And when he decides the decision, it's good. Yeah. That's, I remember to tell him this and the other players too. Sometimes you don't look, you cross. Yeah. But if you have, with your speed, if you can look to the box and just assist one, that's what you do. Just take that one second. So it's classic Adama, is that he stops it, he goes again, but then but, he, uh, he, stop, now he has the look. time to look. Adama do a great job and good finish of, of Jota. But 2 0 up, Wolves fans are in dreamland. Yeah. Adama playing right, wing, right wing back in this game. Yeah. And would Nuno have been a bit frustrated with him trying to dribble maybe in the wrong area there? That's one of the things you need to improve. Sometimes he, he drives to the middle of the pitch and it's the most Rather than dangerous the space. Yeah. Because after that, we don't have so many people behind the ball and can be more difficult. Brilliant, Raul Jimenez goal. How important was he this season? 55 games he played, 27 goals he got that season. And 10 assists. 10 assists as well, uh, I think big player. For me, like the way I, I see the football, it's not only what matters, it's, it's the goals. It's what he do on the pitch. The, the way he press the defenders, the way he run for the team, the quality you have to, to do it, it's, it's amazing. So now it's time to shut up shop and win 3-1. Split second, wasn't it? It was a bit unlucky. But it's uh, a good result for us, of course. But three goals away from home in that first leg. Yeah. That's, that's three imp two. It's impressive, isn't it? They need to to win two nil yeah. minimum. And again, it's another moment for these fans who haven't had European football for decades and decades. And it's special. We talk a lot about the fans, but they deserve it. And as this competition went further and further, that's when COVID happened. So a lot of fans couldn't go to the later games. Do you think they'd have been able to make a bit of a difference? Travelling to Seville, for instance, and trying to help you? Of course, of course. They are there in all the games, doesn't matter where. They, they are there. To, to support us and th that's why we need to keep with the spirit to, to appreciate what, what they do because for me they are amazing. Form of away. Did you mean it? <laughs> <laughs> I try to cross and if no one touch the, goal, the ball goes to the goal and in this kind of free kicks, I try to assist to put the ball on the spot for our player score. Very honest, because Wolves fans tell me you meant it. So that's how highly they think of you. <laughs> <laughs> if I need to be honest with me and with the, all the, the people, I, I try to, to cross, but go in the, the direction I want and I have the luck to, to score. So this is your only Molyneux goal? And unfortunately, there were no fans here to see it. But what a hit. Sometimes when I try it, can happen these kind of things. When you shoot from long range, are you aiming for a spot or are you just trying to get it on target and then hope it moves on, either way? I tried to shot on the first post. Yeah, yeah. That's what... Uh, so it came out perfect. Yeah, and come perfect. 
sometimes I'm gonna shot and we touch on the leg, yeah. but this is perfect because I don't give any chance to save that one. I think it's a, a great, a great Ooh, shot. Great goal, great goal. So I like this goal because I was in the Wolves end with my son. Wolves played really well this game. Yeah. And then you sent that away end into absolute hysteria. And you didn't know how to celebrate. <laughs> About five different celebrations. No, no I know uh, how to celebrate. <laughs> That's what the people tell me. On that goal, my wife is pregnant and I kiss and I run to the after to the to the camera I to think, do I think you for, did another for, couple in the middle as well you give it a little fist bump and all sorts yeah I do this yeah. this and after this <laughs> that's what I think I remember Adama do the 1v1 and I try to go to as close as I can to the box I control the the ball with the studs to the ball goes to my my front and I, I can shot straight away. Probably goes in one of the only places as well to Haya couldn't yeah. save it right in the Because corner. you don't see the ball. No. Because I have a lot of play, you don't see the ball. Like I said, amazing performing team again and a, a great goal too. And and the winning goal. I remember that one. Great I like this one. So when you score, Wolves don't lose. They either win, and I think there's been oh. a draw in there as well. It's true. So you need oh, to score I need, more I, goals. I, I need to try it more. <laughs> this is a great goal. I love the one-two. To have the composure then to just use the outside, almost like a pass, isn't it? Just yeah. pass it into and that corner. It's better celebration now. Yes, just, that is just, better, just yeah. only one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do one of the, the things I like more, is this, one-two. One-two. Because it's the most hard to defend. Yeah. Because after you do one two, you have a lot of options. That's again the, the, the goalkeeper don't see the ball. No. It's the way I celebrate it is because it's, I think we play very well, and I remember this game because I assist for Ruben and we won two one. So how was it for you looking back on some of your iconic moments? I like it. I like yeah. it because when when I, I see these kind of things, the highlights and scoring uh, give me a little bit more hunger to, to try to, to do it again. And thank you, thank you for, for showing that. No, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, thank you very so much, much again. and good luck for the thank rest you. of the season. Thank you very much. Icon of the Seas, arriving 2024.